Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Thanks for joining us for another fantastic, classic Western film. From 1930, Westward Bound, starring Buffalo Bill Jr. Brought to you here free online by westernsontheweb.com. Sit back, relax, kick your boots up, and enjoy this wonderful classic entertainment. And we'll see you after the movie. Another one of those things. Why, Marge, uh, what do you mean? These places are all alike. Listen, Fred, I can get more excitement in one day on my Montana ranch than you can show me in a week here. <laughs> well, uh, now, Marge, this is a very large city, and something exciting might happen any moment. Well, it'll have to happen pretty soon. I'm going home in the morning. wait right here, Ben. I won't be long. Don't you want me to go with you, Mr. Bob? You might get in trouble. That's a pretty tough joint. Oh, that's all right. I like them tough. Same thing, Mr. Lansing? Oh, give me something cold, Joe. Okay. Who are the swells? Oh, one of them slumming parties, I guess. If I had a cute little girl like that, I wouldn't bring her down here. You're right. This is no place for them kind. Now, uh, be sure you get the toughest smug in the joint. I'll get Blinky. For the right kind of dough, he'll be plenty tough. And tell him to put it on strong. My uh, lady friend craves excitement.
Blinky. Come here. Get out of here. Go on, peddle your apples, Kiki. Though I'm not talking to you. What do you say, baby? Let's blow these guys and go play. Can't you take care of the young lady? Hey, what business is it of yours? May I take you out of here, miss? This is no place for a lady. If you're a lady, you'll go on home. Oh. Goodbye, lady. I don't suppose you realize that I am up for re-election and this scandal will cost me thousands of votes. But really, Dad, I couldn't help it. Young man, you're going to leave for the West at once, where both you boys were brought up. And I don't want to see you until after the election. And if you get into any further trouble, I'll disown you. Do you understand? Can I go along with Mr. Bob? I'll say you'll go along, and I don't want to see either of you for the next two months. Bob, I'm sorry, but I can't take chances. You know politics. It's all right, Dad. I understand. the wicked, Ben. It'll only take me a minute to change it, Mr. Bob. How many times do I have to tell you to cut the mister? It's plain Bob. We're just a couple of boys trying to get along the great open spaces. It's okay with me, uh, Bob.
Take him up there. Reach for the sky. Sorry, man. But we've got a heavy day to cross the state line. We'll take your car, and you can have our horse. Oh, well, wait a minute. Get back there and shut your mouth. Well, we've got to have our bag. Never mind the bag. You better be careful of them horses. They're pretty well spent. So long. Well, it looks like we've struck more trouble. Struck it? We're right in the middle of it. Well, anyway, I'm glad those robbers left us transportation. I wish we'd have brought some of your pull horses along instead of having to ride them things. Hey, looks like the old swimming hole. What do you say we dive in and take off some of this real estate in Greece? You're on. Let's go. I'd sure like to get my hands on them fellas that stole our horses. Ah, oh, it was all your fault. You had an order going to sleep. You was upon your own ears, weren't you? Well, I had a right to. I was tired. Oh, I suppose so. There's our horses. Come on, let's get them. Here's where we get even with those low-down horse thieves. Transportation. No car, no horses, no clothes, no money. Now what are we going to do? Maybe we can get a job with a couple of lifesavers. <laughs> hey. Give us a lift. We're just a couple of horseless cowboys looking for a job. Sure. Hop in. I'm a going to the bar old. Maybe you can get your job there. The boss needs some more hands for the roundup. 
Thank you, lady. Would you mind turning your head a little bit? What's the idea of me of turning my head? Well, you see, our clothes are in pretty bad shape. Yeah. We got wet and they truck on us a little bit. Well, come ahead. I ain't looking. Now what are we going to do? Walk. My dogs are sure burning up. Would you quit your crabbing? You wanted to come out west, didn't you? Then, I sure feel better now. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll hike to a town where there's a telegraph station, and I'll wire Dad for some more dough. That's about the best idea that you've had today. And the first thing we do when I get it is to come right back here and square it with a guy that owns these clothes. Fair enough. just had the scare of my life. Well, what happened, Emma? Two men jumped out at me from behind the bush. Did they try to kidnap you? Did they? But I whooped up my horses and was gone quicker than a hog can grunt. I tell you, they can't get ahead of me. Right? I spotted some roughness over there. Whereabouts? The South Canyon. Come on, boys! Miss Marge, there's some rustlers in the South Canyon, and we're going after them. Now be careful, boys. Oh, we'll be all right. I'll ever 
ever get over it. Well, never mind, Emma. Well, I'll do my best. Hey, Jim. I'll be on the lookout. And if I see any of the boys from the bar O, I'll give you the usual signal. Okay, Dick. Hey, there's our horses. Hey, we want our horses and our clothes. How do you mean? What chance have you got of getting your clothes? What's the matter with you? Look out, look out. Come on, boys. Beat it. Now what? I'm afraid to think. That's the right. Well, what's the matter? Changing the brand, huh? Eh? Well, we caught you with our goods this time. Well, we just got here. Somebody stole their car and left us horses. And they stole their horses and their clothes. And we just come... Tell it to the sheriff. Time up, boys. Well, you got us all wrong, mister. trouble, Frank. We just caught a couple of rustlers. Come on, boys. Move them along. Take care of these armories while I go see the boss. We caught two of them rufflers, Miss Holt. You men are all wrong about this. Keep quiet, Ben. No use to talk to those jinx. What are you going to do with them? Why, turn them over to Sheriff. No, don't do that now. Wait for me. I'll be over at the barn in about five minutes. Well, you're the boss. Them's the two men that jumped out at me. And they didn't have no clothes on, neither. I know one of them, and I'm going to put the scare of his life into him before I get through. He's the fellow that spoiled my last night in the big city. Remember what I told you? Bet I do. I can explain this if you'll give me a chance. Pipe down. I ain't even listening.
Well, my land. What are you doing with that get up on? I don't want him to know who I am just yet. Oh, I get you. <laughs> Now, there's a smart girl. Here's them two rufflers, miss. So, you're the thief that's been stealing my cattle. But, lady, we're innocent. First, we had our automobile stolen, and then our horses and our clothes. We weren't an awful thing. Tell it to the sheriff. You were caught with the goods, weren't you? Yeah. Well, you know what that means in these parts. But we didn't steal any of your cattle. No use talking, miss. I'll turn them over to the sheriff. No, don't be in a hurry. Get a little work out of them first. Get gone, cowboys. On there. Get busy and clean out this stable. Oh, listen, we're not used to that kind of work. You heard what I said, didn't you? Grab yourself a couple of tools, eh? Never mind washing the dishes, Emma. I have a better idea. Okay. Yes, Miss Marge. Bring those men over here. Come on, get going. The boss wants to see you. Well, miss, you don't understand. No, miss, I'll tell you. You heard what the lady said, didn't you? Make it snappy. Well, lady, don't you remember me? I met you in the city. How dare you speak to me like that? Wait, well, Frank, lock these two men up for the night. Put one of them in the barn and the other one in the shed. Come on, you. Get going. Come on, let's go.
Come here a minute. You know those two nuts that butted in while you boys were branding those calves over there? Yeah. yeah. What about them? Well, the boys from the bar old ranch picked them up for a couple of rustlers. <laughs> what did they do with them? Well, they locked them up for the night over the ranch. Say, that gives me a great idea. What do you mean? Now listen. As long as they're putting the blame on them, we'll cash in on it. Thinking this thing over. You fellows are getting a terrible deal. I'll say we are. Now listen, the foreman and the rest of the bunch are out for blood. Now they're going to hang you just as sure as shooting. I guess we're in for it, all right. Yeah, I feel a little sorry for you myself. That's the reason I want to help you out of this mess. Really? Yeah. Now listen, there's a couple of horses down at the corral, and there's food on the saddle. So you get this partner of yours and beat it pronto. Gee, pal, I sure appreciate that. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. About that partner of yours, I wouldn't say too much about it. He acts kind of hard-headed. Now, here's the key. And you two get going. Thanks. Ben, never mind. I'll tell you all about it when we're on our way. Come on. Now I'm going to find out who our Russell friends really are. What you going to do with them? First, I'm going to bowl them out some more, and then I'm going to get big-hearted and let them go. They're both gone. Now, ain't that a shame? Yes, it is. I wish I could see him again and tell him I was only pretending. But now I'll never find out who he was. I just got back from the East Corral, and there's some more of our stock missing. Are you sure of that? Absolutely. I just checked it over myself. The prisoners are gone. That's no surprise to me. Dick just found out there's some more cattle missing. Why, I simply can't believe it of those boys. Well, the only way we can find out is to catch them. I got plenty of rope over here to string them up with, too. We won't take any chances with them. 
We'll ask questions afterwards. Wait till we catch them. We'll have a lot of fun out of them, too. I'm going with you. Well, come on, let's go. I don't see anything for you to be happy about. I do. Pretty soon we're going to cross the border. You're going to wire your dad for some money. Ain't that enough to make anybody happy? Listen, we're not going across the border. What's the idea? I feel like a dirty skunk running out on that little girl. You in love with her? That cowboy told me she's a pretty tough umbre. Listen, Ben, I know who she is. She didn't fool me. That's the girl I had the trouble with in the dive that night. Sure enough? Sure enough. And I'm not going to leave. I'm going back and tell her we're not rusty. Great. You tell her that you're the son of Senator Lansing, and then everything will be hot for Tassie. That's just what I won't do. If Dad found out I was in trouble again, it would break his heart. Well, what are you going to do? We're going back and help her clear up this rustling business. Well, Bob, i will just soon hang with you as anybody else I know of. Boys, I think we ought to scatter out here and all meet at the south corner fence. All right. Miss Marge, do you want to go with me? No, I think I'll go on alone. All right. Those are the men that stole our horses. You're right, Bob. And I'll bet they're stealing them cattle.
the rest of them cattle in the corral. All right. Looks like we're heading for some excitement. Now don't be silly. Let's beat it. I'm not on your line. You're willing to hang with me, aren't you? Oh, I guess so. Bar old brand. Well, what are you going to do now? Now we're going to find out just who those rustlers are. Now you watch me, and whatever I do or say, follow my lead. Don't worry, Bob. I'll follow you all the way. Howdy, fellas. Well, what do you want? First, we want to be sociable. Second, we came to collect. I understand the sociable, but I don't quite get to collect. Now listen, partner. You've been a rustling the bar old stock, and we get the blame. And you ask me what I mean by collect. Now, here's the whole thing in a nutshell. My partner and I are a couple of boys from the city. We're trying to hide out. And we want to put this rustling game on a paying basis. The boss wants to see you inside. But I was just riding by. Never mind. Come on in. Now that I've found you, Rutgers, what are you going to do with me? Not so fast, Miss Holt. First, I want you to meet my partner. Yeah. And you're going to stick right with us until we've crossed the border. So, I'm supposed to be your prisoner until you make your getaway with my cattle? You got it right the first time. Now, don't be a staff partner. I'll show you how to play this racket right. 
This is our chance to clean up in a big way. Give me a chance, please. Boy, that's slick. Here, Miss Holt, sign this. I suppose I refuse to sign it. Take a look around. And use your own judgment. Dick, can't you help me out of this? Well, I'd advise you to sign it. See? Even your own top hand is with it. Here, Ben. Take this to the ranch and don't come back without the dough. Leave it to me, Bob. Just a minute. We'll let Dick pack the note. Ben can go with him. Sure. Have it your own way. Just so he brings back the money. Might as well take it easy, Miss Holt. You'll be here for a long time. You seen anything of them, boys? Not a thing. Well, we'll wait here for Miss Holt. All right. Bob has a bunch of rustlers captured down in the cabin, and Miss Holt with him. Oh, yeah? Now I'll tell one. Well, listen, I've got a note for Miss Holt. Honest, I have. Some more of your tricks. You can't fool me. Say, listen. This is serious. They're down there in trouble and need help. Never mind. I'm going to take you to the sheriff. Come on. Here it is. Miss Holt's writing, boys. Let's be going.
Might as well take a hand in our game, Miss Holt, while you wait. Two. Three. Fifty. He's a double crosser. His friend knocked me out and took the note away from me. Don't dare let that girl get away. boys. Come on, get on those horses. Now that we've caught those rustlers, Miss Holt, I'm going back home where there isn't so much excitement. going to leave me, are you? Thanks for joining us for this classic Western film, this wonderful movie. We appreciate you being here, we appreciate you watching our films, and we hope you'll come on by westernsontheweb.com. Over 2,000 Western films to watch free, and they're brought to you by westernsontheweb.com. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great-tastic day, 
and we hope to see you again on down the trail.